All right, guys. Black is here. And let me tell you what happened today. I got up about 8 o'clock. I balanced my checkbook. Got dressed. I mean, well, I took a shower, got dressed. And headed to the Volkswagen dealership on Thornton Road next to the Hunter dealership that's next to the Chevrolet dealership that's across the street from the Ford dealership. Anywho, I took my... Okay, last week I went there and I purchased a remote for the 2004 Golf. And the remote came with the key. So you push the button and the key flips out. I paid, I think it was 180 bucks for the remote. And they, some, they made the key for it. I, I, think, I think the guy said that the key comes from the factory already cut for the Golf. Anywho, so... Early today, I got there at 10 o'clock, had an appointment for them to program this key, the remote or whatever. And it took them about two and a half hours. Uh, she said that the car wouldn't respond to the computer or whatever, but it finally did. The key works. The remote works. I can lock and unlock the door. I can even pop the trunk now. Okay. But while I was there... I looked at the is the ID4, the all electric Volkswagen SUV, and I was surprised at how much room is inside that thing. Not only that, I was able to let the seat down and back almost too far. I mean, it has a lot of room in it, and it's it's pretty nice on the inside. I like the seats. You know, it's got a weird little instrument cluster, but uh, I'm sure you could get used to it. Um, the thing was $46,000. I don't know that it come all-wheel drive with the dual motors or whatever the hell it is. Probably did, considering it's $46,000, and it was what? $46,000 for a what vehicle? Okay, I really considered trading in my F-150 for that thing because check this out now if I tell somebody that I I paid on my truck my payments was $5.99 for 75 months and you hear that and most people would think wow you got screwed you paying for that for over six years yeah six years three months you got screwed. No, I didn't. My finance was only 2.09%. That's right. You know, until I got that truck, I believe I believe you had to be what to get 2.09 interest rate, especially on a $40,000 vehicle. But that's what I got on the F-150. So I have about a year left to pay on that thing. And so I owe, the last time I checked was a little over 12,000. I think, no, it was 11,000. I owe just over 11,000. And y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? The truck is worth $28,000. I've checked on Kelly Blue Book a couple of times and it's like $28,000 for that truck and I only owe 12,000. So upside down is not even in my vocabulary. It's not even in my repertoire. But anyway, um, yesterday I ran through Prattville, Alabama. And I saw a sign, it was a photo F-150. It was probably an XLT and they wanted 28, thousand dollars for this truck twenty eight thousand and i owe less than 12. but anyway yeah i considered buying trading for that id4 but the thing is i like my f-150 i want again i bought the truck because i want to see how long that 2.7 lasts and if i trade it i'm not gonna get to see how many miles on my truck it's like 77,000 miles 
It runs good. The only problem I've had with it was the temperature sensor back at what, 69,000 miles. I've had to put brakes on it uh, front. There's a bug flying around the light. I've had to put brakes on the front and brakes on the back and tires. That's the only thing I've had to do, do to it. Oh, so I'm pretty happy with the truck. It runs good, no check engine lights. But yeah, I sat out and I thought pretty good about trading. You know, I figured I said, you know, that would really draw some attention to my channel, but forget that. Um, I asked the guy, so do, do I have to get a special charger or can I just plug it up to my house? And he showed me the little 110 volt out plug outlet plug thing. But he said if the battery is low, it would take 60 hours to recharge the truck. And I'm like, 60 hours? 60 hours? Then he tells me, well, you could pay another $2,000 and get a high voltage, high speed charger installed into my garage. And it will recharge the car within 12 hours if it's dead. And I'm like, nah, that's okay. So basically, when electric cars can be charged from a normal outlet, you don't have to buy special equipment, and they can be charged within 12 hours, I will buy one. I mean, that's, that's it. It's, when you can charge a car through a home outlet in 12 hours, I will buy an electric car. Until then, it's not worth it to me. 60 hours to recharge a dead battery or pay $2,000 for a high-powered apparatus to quick charge the car. That's all right. You can keep that. Uh, I looked at some Golf GTIs, four doors. I don't even think they make two door no more. I, I don't think I've seen one. If they do, I haven't seen one. But I looked at two of them. Both of them was four door. Couldn't sit inside because the damn doors are locked. I could have went and got keys, but I didn't feel like it. Really didn't feel like it. Um, He offered me a test drive, but I was afraid to test drive the damn thing. I ended up buying it. So I decided, nah, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. That and the fact that he was a, never mind, I ain't going to say that. I ain't gonna even say that, but he was, and I've never bought a car from him. That's dirty, right? Hopefully one day I will, hopefully, but no, nah, I'm cool. It's got nothing to do with him. It just, like I said, I don't want a car that takes 60 hours to charge. Forget that. And if the damn car had been outside, I might have would have test drove because I've yet to drive an electric car. But I'm in no real big hurry. To be honest with you guys, I'm waiting on the new Mustang or that Nissan 400Z. That's what I'm waiting on. This is Dre. Y'all have a good day.